my favorite moment at BT will be freshman year of math class when we uh, did the Harlem Shake Challenge, you know, it got crazy. Freshman pep rally when we was kind of trying to battle the sophomores. Winning a um, state section championship for baseball team, you know, first time in history. Yeah, that was my move. This, this not the real ring. I got two home It's coming soon. No, you didn't. It's coming soon. <laughs> Cheering at the basketball games. Um, I'll also remember the people that I met. The first March Madness game we had, and I saw Miss Morales cheerleading. Definitely freshman year. I think we were all in the lunchroom, and Mr. Love told everyone, let's go sing Christmas carols. And we all ended up going to like the third, the first, and fourth floor. And after he told us to go back to class, we all just figured, let's just go yell in the hallway, freshmen everywhere, and we're banging on the lockers and stuff. And it was a fun time. Going to Camp Ernie because it was where everybody was all together. Uh, we all had fun. Um, it was just like a happy place. Meeting this girl right here. Psych! Um, <laughs> my favorite moment would probably be yeah. a couple of days ago when we did the senior prank because like, that was the first time as a class like we all came together and really had fun. Prom because I actually got to do a lot more this year than I did back in middle school. I would remember BT because it's like, what kind of, like when you ask someone, oh, do you remember high school? Like you say, I don't, like everybody remembers high school. That's like one of the most important four years of your life other than college. I think like hanging out with my friends mostly and like harassing Mr. Love, like on a daily basis. I'm definitely gonna remember the people that I met because I didn't realize um, how much of an impact that they would have on me and the types of friends that I would have, that I actually made. I would remember BT, yeah. I remember it because, well, I've been here for four years, it's hard to forget that, but it's like I met people and I experienced things that would live with me forever. It's like they're part of my family now. Of course I remember the fun times and the memories, and, you know, just being a teenager, I remember that. Yes, I remember BT. I met five good friends that I will never forget and I've been here for four years, why would I forget it? No, I'm definitely not leaving the way I came in. When I came in here, I maybe was 50 pounds lighter, but besides for that, um, no, I think I can't, I'm leaving smarter, I'm leaving a better man, and I'm leaving with like more tools to assist me in the future. Definitely not, I don't think anybody that came here as a freshman is leaving no way that they came in. I feel like I grew so much as a person. I became more independent. I became more strong-minded. No, when I came, when I came to BC, I didn't know who I was really. I didn't really know a lot about anything, and now I'm leaving with like this great sense of identity. I know I don't think I'm leaving the way I came in because I became more mature. Um, I feel more, you know, like ready for college. I'm, I feel more grown. Definitely not. I came in nervous, shy, and not talking, and now I'm like more talkative. I know everybody in school. I mean, it's not a big school, but I know everybody, and I think I made a somewhat good impact on people around me. I think I'm leaving this school more respectful and a more serious person. No, I, in a good way though, you know, when I came in here, I was already smart. I was, you know, like, I was just too smart. But now I'm not just smart, I'm kind of a genius. Like this school made me a genius. I still act the same since freshman year. I know that's not good, but it really be like that. Like, yo, you still doing the same thing. I'm no, no change at all, like I'm chill. I mean, I knew I was the man at the <laughs> age of six. So ain't nothing changed, nothing's changing. My opinion? Honestly, I would. It was lit. That's all I gotta say. That's that's really ghetto. It was lit. Yeah, it wasn't. That's... It's not ghetto, but it was it was really lit. Like BT, you gotta think about it. This class was fun. Like this class was really like fun. We got the funniest people in this class. Oh, I'm one of them. Not yeah. really, but okay. I am. Not really, but okay. I am. Anyway, moving on. I, am. <laughs> <laughs> I will not leave the way I came in because it's been a long journey. Four year journey. No usual love affair. I will never dream of your love. You take me there. You take me there. Oh,
Well, the first piece of advice I'd like to give is uh, enjoy, enjoy your night here. Uh, it's the last time you guys are going to be together, and um, you know, have fun with it. Enjoy yourselves. Um, as far as going forward, you know, don't stop doing the things that got you here, and uh, take pride in everything that you do, and uh, that should lead to, to success in the future. And I wish everybody the absolute best. I will say to don't be afraid to fail. Go, go out, leave, leave Bloomfield Tech, and, and give it your best shot. Stay focused, pay attention. I wish you much success in the future. God bless you. Go out there and, and just you know take the world by the horns and, and just continue to be the good people that you are. Life is not a race. You just take your time and do what you can do and do it to the best of your ability. You don't have to worry about what others are doing. Just get through the day and you will be fine. Don't get locked in into anything. You know, give yourself, leave yourself room to uh, explore your options. You guys are still really young. You gotta have a vision of where you wanna go, a dream, a goal. You have to work very hard to achieve that goal, that dream, that vision. And I would really recommend finding a mentor, somebody to help guide you along the path. Everybody needs help. Be willing to seek out and get help uh, on your path in life. I'm really gonna miss the class of 2016. But I'm gonna miss you more! <laughs> keep the drive that you have. That spirit that you have is what's gonna motivate you. And keep on, uh, keep you guys pushing forward. Um, there's so many good things that I see coming out of this class. Uh, just keep it going. Don't stop. And do not let anybody outwork you. <laughs> you too, Joe. <laughs> Never give up. Life is not going to be easy when you leave here at Bloomfield Tech. Um, just keep going forward, stay true to yourself, and you'll always succeed. I will say, never give up on your dreams. Always work hard. And if you ever fall, never be afraid to get back up, brush it off, and kick butt. Follow your passion. Be passionate about something. Be active. Go out there and do something. Don't just hang out and kind of stand to the side and watch other people be activists, but get passionate about something and just follow that passion. Yeah, be active citizens. You know, this world's like kind of a fragile place right now. And, you know, I know it sounds cheesy, but positivity really cures all. Um, we're all made of energy. And when we speak about being good and being good people and respecting others, the world will change. And you have that power. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Ooh, that's a Da Silva classic. That sure is. Always remember Bloomfield Tech, wherever you may go, whoever you may meet, you might be a fellow Spartan. Uh, treat people the way you want to be treated yourself. Uh, and always have a, a, a sense of humor. Uh, that if those things you won't go wrong, you'll be a very successful person. These last four years, it's just been so surreal. Just all the things I've been through, that myself, just like, honestly, I think the school will remember me more than I'll remember it. It's like, you know, because I had a lot of fun here. Like, BT was lit for me, for me at least, you know. I love um, y'all, man. All right, I love y'all. Pose, pose for the last. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right.